You are listening to the Full Circle. All right, as we wrap it up after those shocking figures, we are looking at uh, democratizing wealth creation in SA through uh, property investment. And we've got with us uh, a, a fabulous entrepreneur here. He knows all things that we don't know about money. Founder and chief executive of uh, Invest Rand. Um, okay. Creating generational wealth is not an easy thing, Ezra. Ezra Rossetti is joining me in studio. How are you doing? I'm writing yes, I'll it. I'm fantastic. It's not an easy thing. No, it's not. It's not. You're correct about that. It's, it's, it's something that's very, very difficult. That's why uh, we created our platform. It's basically because there's three things missing. There's knowledge that's mm-hmm. missing. And after you find the knowledge, there's opportunities. It's okay. So now I have this op- uh, knowledge. Where am I going to implement it? Mm. And then the most important thing after that is also getting the right people in place, like mentors or people who know much better about uh, the subject matter. Mm. And then after that, then you definitely need to get the right structure in place. So the structure is actually what creates a lot of generational wealth for many, many people. And that's why we've seen some families or some wealth staying in many, many families for a very long time. And we wonder why it's because they have the right structures in place. Knowledge, opportunity, mm. and structure. Yes, definitely. And okay. let's, let's put mentorship there as well. Mentorship there as well. Mm. All right. I feel like I've got half a point for at least one of those. Knowledge. <laughs> the rest. <laughs> um, so you guys at InvestRent, tell me a little bit about you. Yeah, definitely. So investment is a marketplace that connects property investors to investment opportunities, right? One thing we realize is that there's a knowledge out there. We live in a knowledge you know, information era. You can find all the knowledge you need about property investing. Uh, there's seminars, there's different areas you can find that. But after you find that knowledge, how do you implement it? And looking at some of the constraints we have, time, you know, mm. people are busy at work, you have family, you have all of those things. How do you implement that? And that's exactly why we created a marketplace that can make it easier for people who have the knowledge to go find opportunities to invest in, in property. So when you talk about opportunities, it could be opportunities that are cash flow positive or they give you a profit mm-hmm. uh, in a short time, or it could be a uh, opportunity that can give you profit in the long term as well. So that's exactly what you created. So you're just looking on our account, uh, on our platform. It's a free account, find opportunities, put in an offer, and then you take it from there. And then one thing that we don't also uh, leave you there is we're not only leaving you when finding opportunity because it's so exciting to buy a property. Yeah. And then you know what happens? As soon as it transfers, then you get a headache because you don't know how to operate and trade it like a business. Mm. So we also make sure that you have the team of experts there. You have all the service providers you need. Maybe you want to do rezoning. Maybe you want to do renovations, whatever you want to do. Maybe estate planning as well with mm. the, the structures coming in. Then you can also be able to find it on our platform. So we just created a platform that streamlines these opportunities with the service providers. And also we give you the expertise to be able to use that and build yourself like wealth in property investing. God is speaking to me in mysterious ways through the <laughs> So, <laughs> so this is not invest rent is not where we go to yes. go buy my residential property. No, no. This you, is where we go for investment opportunity. Hundred percent, hundred percent. We have a lot of beautiful platforms out there for buying your personal homes. <laughs> uh, so we definitely just realize that there's a problem of people who are looking for opportunities to actually make money and build wealth. Okay. So is it an easy platform? Because you make it sound easy. Is it an easy platform? to yes. navigate you've aggregated all the information for us <laughs> yes definitely so one of the things that is uh, is making it easier is because the first thing is just, of course you have to create an account but you'll also be able to find your financial breakdown of each opportunity you'll see the pictures of course but you'll also find out what is my buying costs you know what am i going to pay attorneys uh, do i need to do any renovations so the platform will tell you all of that stuff that the property definitely need any renovations or is actually fixed already mm. and then the other part is now let's talk about your monthly management what's my income statement look like let's say my income is coming in what am i going to spend my, my money on mm. so then you're going to have all the expenses that are in place as well and one of the most important things as an investor they have to put in provisions like for right now we have have, um, you know, high inflation, we mm-hmm. have, you know, uh, municipal rates going up, etc. One needs to think to say, okay, do I have a buffer for those things? You know, so that's exactly what our platform does as well. You can see your cash flow, return on investment, etc. And at the, same, at the same time, you can also see your entire portfolio after you invest as well and be able to access service providers in the same platform too. So it's that easy to use. I mean, it makes absolute sense from what I'm gathering from you. And I think very important to this conversation also is we don't disseminate this information amongst ourselves as black people. Of course. Right? Of course. And and other races do it, but we, yes. we don't give the cheat sheet. Yes, of course, of course. And I think that's something that we realize because when we started the platform, the, the problem was simple. 
I wanted to do this for my family and friends. Mm. Um, you know, when I started investing in property, I then realized that, you know what, uh, my family and friends started hearing me speaking about it a lot. They wanted to figure out how do they do it. Because I got inspired by Robert Kiyosaki book, I'm not sure if you read the Richard yes. Wardet. That actually what got inspired uh, inspired me to do this. And then I then went to try to teach them and say, okay, this is the Robert Kiyosaki book that I read. You guys can use this book. You can do your own thing. And they, it never worked, you know. Yes. Information alone is not enough. A lot of people have information, but information alone without the proper application is not enough. And then now the struggle is how do you apply this thing? So that's exactly what created investment is, okay, let's just make sure that it's easy to apply, to streamline this entire thing. Yes, from knowledge, but you're also going to end up having something that you own and you basically know that you have an investment that you can point out at the end of the day and say, I own something. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, interesting enough, I've seen so many, when you talk about your family, I've seen so many, you know, younger uh, black entrepreneurs try different methods that yes. are not kind of the usual model. Yes. I, I saw a guy once share on, on Twitter how they started a family stock fell. Oh, yes. Um, and, and started buying property, uh, yes. just him and his mom and his aunts, and, and, and subsequently he's now a tenant yes. to his own family stock fell. Yes. And I was like, that's genius. I know, I know. And, and those are some of the vehicles people can use, by the way, um, to make sure that they, you know, building wealth as a family. And it's a beautiful thing. Stock fell is basically one of the best partnerships that is well known to many black people. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's a partnership, basically. You just come in together, you have an agreement on how things are going to be going. I encourage a lot of people who come to our platform and they want to do partnership. Maybe two people want to do partnership or five people or 10 people just have the right structure in place. And one of the most important thing that people need to know, don't get into this partnership without knowing how you're going to exit. Mm. If interests change down the line, then you need to know, so, okay, so what do I need to do right now to, you know, go a separate way or, or, or not use the stock fell anymore? That's also another thing. But if you do it like that and you have the right structure, then uh, you, you can go very, very far. I love how Ezra keeps going back uh, to those uh, three premises that he entered with. Knowledge, opportunity, structure, and of course, mentorship. In the final moments, Ezra, uh, we fast run out of time. Some of the difficulties that perhaps particularly uh, people of color in South Africa face when they want to get into this property uh, game. Because mm. it's it's not the easiest thing to get into no, as an investor. Mm, mm, definitely. So I think the, it, it's still coming back to the same four things, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. And I know it sounds cliche, but it does. It's like people need to just find the knowledge. And then as soon as they find the knowledge, then they need to apply and find opportunities. If you find opportunities, then you can find the right people who can help your expertise. And also with the right structure, then you can be able to build something that you can leave in your family for a very, very period of time. And I think that's exactly why investment is important now. We're just putting it out there so we can transform some of those things that have been stuck for a very, very long time. And I have to put something out there. Right now, we have a big retirement uh, uh, and saving crisis because a lot of people are using their entire money. I mean, seven out mm. of 10 people utilize their entire income and they get into credit cards every month. Yeah. So that means, and also, here's another stat as well. There's a lot of people right now who cannot afford to buy homes, mm -hmm. because especially young people. Like yeah. the average uh, home buyer right now in South Africa is 36 years old. Mm. So, and that person is buying a house for 1.1 million rand. So with that say, that means a lot of people have this affordability. You know, and then they end up turning into something that say they call it maybe I, I have to rent something that I can stay in and then I can own something that I can rent out to somebody. So that's exactly what leads them to invest when they say, Okay, now that I have some affordability, what can I do to make money out of this, make myself some additional income and then you know Mm. improvise while I still have a salary, while I'm still in a good place and it can I can be able to use that to build wealth for myself and also build for my retirement. We're going to have you back, whether it's physical or on the telephone, uh, because we are pressed for time today. But we're going to have you back uh, and continue this conversation. I've got a personal interest uh, in this particular conversation. Uh, and, and I'm sure that a lot of you listening also would like to see what opportunities uh, lay there for you. But for today, we have to wrap it here. Aldrin St. Pierre is uh, standing by to come and bring you beyond the headline. Of course, Dumi also joining uh, the team there from us. Inshallah, God willing, we get to do it again. Here, there, and everywhere. SAFM 106.2 FM in Zanin. If you're active on social media and love SAFM, we hope you'll take a moment to like or follow our SAFM.